At Parks Canada, we are sort of the stewards that are in charge of protecting, preserving, and presenting some of our cultural and natural heritage. There are tours of the Commissioner's Residence, the SS Kino, there's the Dredge Number no. 4 out of the Goldfields, as well as tours here at the Palace Grand Theatre. So the theatre itself was built in 1899 by Arizona Charlie Meadows. It really was the most elegant, grandest opera house that there was in Dawson City. There are definitely some stories of supernatural activity. There have been reports from uh, various custodial staff saying they saw a light on in one of the rooms and when they came up, there is no one around, no lights on. There are also reports of hearing footsteps, especially up on the third floor. Even uh, occasionally the smell of roses or rose water emanating from uh, Arizona Charlie's box. So there definitely is some uh, spiritual energy in this theater. My first summer in Dawson City in 2004, I stage managed for Garter Girl Theater. So I was in the theater for six nights a week. One evening in the theater around 11 p.m., it was just the lighting designer and I working. The rest of the cast had finished rehearsing for the day, so they had gone home. We were sitting on the main floor of the theater, and all of a sudden, we heard footsteps coming from the top balcony. We both heard it. It sounded like a man wearing heavy boots, walking behind the opera boxes, all the way from one side of the theater to the other. There was no one else in the building. We looked at each other and we knew it was just time to go. So we packed up and left as quickly as possible. The strangest thing that happened all summer was something I almost didn't experience myself. I had a break in the show where I didn't have any cues, so I would often leave my booth and quietly move around the theater and just watch the show from different parts. One evening we had a smaller audience, so there was nobody sitting in the first balcony. So I left my booth on the top balcony, came down the stairs, and stood just beside the dress circle and watched about 10 minutes of the show from there, including one performer's solo song. And after the show, he made a point of coming over and asking me who my friend was that was watching part of the show with me. And at first I thought he was kidding because there was nobody on that level of the theater with me. And he insisted that there had been a man standing there beside me. He said there was a man who was wearing dark pants, a white shirt, a vest, and a jacket. The actor swears that he saw somebody beside me, and I didn't see anything, I didn't feel anything. But after he kept insisting that he saw someone beside me, it did make me uncomfortable. A ghost or something was maybe right beside me, and I didn't even know it. I had lots of disturbing experiences that first summer, and since then I've always felt kind of an energy in this building, but it hasn't scared me away. I love the Palace Grand Theater. I think it's an incredible theater to work in, and I continue to do so. Speculation would certainly say that maybe there were some of the more famous residents, people like Klondike Kate or Arizona Charlie, the man who built the theater. There are definitely some real ghost stories that go around with uh, some of the National Historic Site here in Dawson City. 